For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Olympics staged after a year's gap have begun in the Japanese capital and it's been staged under exceptional circumstances so to speak. Uh, now uh, let's just be very clear when I say exceptional it, j it just doesn't mean uh, the crowds missing from the stands or the protocols that are in place, the daily testing that that leads and all the people involved in the Olympic bubble undergoes and all these are factors of course making it exceptional but this thing is different, these games are different on a major count, which is that when we compare it to the previous games, right through the, uh, the Olympic movement's entire history of over a hundred years, it's for the first time that uh, the majority population of the host city as well as the country, they are against the staging of the games. And things are already looking bleak. A day before the opening ceremony for instance that is july 22nd the number of cases in tokyo was uh, close to 2000 uh, above 1900 and this is closer to the number that was the per day number that was there when things spiked in japan and in tokyo mid may around mid may so it's 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 already escalating and yes the organizers are trying to convey the fact that this is unrelated to people coming from across the world because they are being absorbed into a bubble, being tested and they are isolated from the rest of the crowd. But again, uh, I mean, within the bubble itself, cases have happened and uh, speaking to athletes who are there, officials who are there and fellow journalists who are there uh, on the ground, it's very clear that they are all living on the knife's edge because one positive test and you're out of the games, be it an athlete, be it a, be it, be it a journalist or official. Straight away, 14-day quarantine. Uh, of course, if, if the case is severe, treatment, etc. So, so uh, it's very clear from this situation where athletes are being tested daily and they are also worried about this positive results and all that they themselves are unable to focus clearly on the games, be in the moment, celebrate what the games entail. And that is just one of the ironies of these games, rather being that uh, the overwhelming demand within the Japanese population that these games shouldn't happen because it is going to create a problem. And uh, the International Olympic Committee as well as the Japanese government and, and all the stakeholders, they went ahead with the games against people, the wishes of the people of a democratic country. These games are full of ironies such as these and it goes completely against the ethos on which the Olympic moment is, is, is based and it's completely just adhering to the business side of things which has been the case in the last 2-3 decades or so, the shift of the Olympic movement from, from idealism to uh, 
pragmatic business sense. 